I am a very basic girly, a very basic shower girl. I don't like to do too much. I literally go in the shower for the purpose to get clean and I get out. What's up peoples? It's your girl Alexis Renee. What's goody? What's poppin'? How's y'all day going? In today's video, I will be bringing you guys my winter hygiene routine. I used to love watching winter hygiene routine videos. I just thought it would be a good idea to share with you guys my hygiene routine. This routine is like more for those who have dry skin, but at the same time, like I'm in the middle. Like my skin is dry, but that sometimes it's like not dry. But um, I try to find that in between that balance, you know what I mean? I try to make sure that my shower slash hygiene routine doesn't contain a whole bunch of crazy products that may protect potentially like break out my skin or cause my skin to dry up and also I do have a little bit of body acne but uh, this routine definitely helps with that. If you guys have not done so already please make sure that you hit the like and subscribe button and that you also hit the bell notification so you'll be notified for any time I post a new video. And who wants to miss one of Alexis Renee's videos? <laughs> okay let's hop into the video. Let's first start off with going from top to bottom. The first part of my hygiene routine is oral hygiene. <laughs> my oral hygiene routine is very basic, very simple, but you gotta make sure your breath is smelling fresh all the time. Also, your teeth is nice and clean, you know what I mean? You gotta prevent the cavities, all that. First thing that I do is brush my teeth with an electric toothbrush. This is the electric toothbrush that I'm using. It's by the company named Vitve, and if you guys are interested, I will have the link to this toothbrush in my Amazon storefront. It's linked in the description below. And one thing that I like about this toothbrush, it has a timer. When you first turn it on, it gives you like 30 seconds to focus on each section of your mouth. And it also tells you if you're applying too much pressure, it will turn red. I really do like that. It has multiple settings. It has clean, sensitive, white, gum care, and tongue. And the battery on this toothbrush is really long. So if you guys don't use an electric toothbrush, I highly suggest it because electric toothbrush definitely reaches to sections in your mouth that like a regular toothbrush can. Like I feel like electric toothbrush just gets into the nooks and crannies and my teeth just be feeling like extra squeaky and clean. So that is what I do first. After I brush my teeth, I go in with a regular toothbrush because one downfall of an electric toothbrush is that it does not do a good job of cleaning your tongue. So what I do is I take a toothbrush, regular toothbrush, I put toothpaste on it and then I literally brush my tongue. I get the roof of my mouth, I get like under my tongue sometimes, but like I'm not rough with it. Yeah, and if you guys are wondering what toothpaste I use, I do <laughs> use sensitive toothpaste. I don't know if it's just me, but I think I may be allergic to toothpaste. <laughs> like literally sometimes when I use different toothpaste, my mouth like kind of gets like irritated slash a little inflamed and then like the inside of my mouth like will start peeling a little bit. So I think I might be allergic to toothpaste, but this is the only toothpaste that kind of like doesn't do that. And then after that, you gotta make sure that there is no leftover food slash plaque in between your teeth. So I do go in with floss. I use Dentec, I don't know. I just use whatever floss is like available to me. And you gotta make sure you get every tooth and don't be one of those people. <laughs> don't, please, don't be one of those people who use the floss stick and don't rinse it off after you picked one of your teeth. Because like if there's food on the floss pick, you don't rinse it off. You're literally sticking that food up the next tooth. I don't know, that bothers me. After I get done with brushing my teeth, brushing my tongue, using floss, I then go in with my mouthwash. Sometimes I use Listerine, sometimes I use this, which is TheraBrev. I use the anti-cavity formula and I feel like it soothes my like gum slash teeth. Like sometimes like my teeth be like very sensitive and normally when I use this, it definitely helps with that. I don't know if there's something in here that aids to that, but I definitely use this from time to time. Moving 
on down. Next, I wash my face. I recently had dropped my nighttime skincare routine. So basically what I do in the morning is literally have that. I don't uh, use a whole bunch of products in the morning. Like your skin doesn't really replenish itself until you go to bed at night. That's why I do like a lot of my skincare at night and make sure I'm using like, oh, like different types of serums and stuff like that. In the morning, all I do is I wash my face with soap and I put some aloe vera on my face and then sometimes I just uh put on the Casa RX serum on my face and then I go about my day like my skin morning skincare routine is very simple it's very easy next we're going to work our way down to our body all right so first and foremost when I get in the shower I make sure that the water is on me i literally just let the water run down on me and you know get y'all you gotta get your body prepared to be washed i am a very basic girly a very basic shower girl i don't like to do too much i literally go in the shower with the purpose to get clean and i get out for the most part there are times where i'm a little bit extra and i will show you today when i'm feeling a little bit extra but for the most part this is what i do when i get in the shower i take a washcloth y'all see this an exfoliating washcloth is key sometimes when i'm feeling fancy i use an exfoliating hand gloves um they both do the same thing in my opinion and i use dow soap dow soap is antibacterial when you're getting in the shower your goal is to get clean your goal is to remove any bacteria that is on your body to get rid of the funk the sweat the dirt all of that if you are using a scented bar soap or you're using a scented body wash if you're using anything that is not antibacterial you're not really cleaning your body in my opinion from my experience when i use dove soap scented soaps whatever to clean my body my body does not get clean i feel like all it's doing is smearing the dirt <laughs> on me it's not getting rid of the dirt and grime that's been on your body right so i am very simple again very basic do what you do that works for you but for me dial soap you have to have a clean slate if you want to be clean and smell clean you have to go in with a bar soap that is antibacterial so i get my soap i get my washcloth or exfoliating glove literally saturated under water and i just be like this literally i lather i lather my washcloth i lather my exfoliating glove whatever i'm using and i literally just start washing my body i wash the important parts you know what i mean making sure that your body is nice and clean i normally just go in with one wash i don't wash multiple times because that's drying to my skin my goal is to get in the shower get clean and get out i literally take my time when i'm washing my body like ain't no quick wash down like no i am making sure that i am taking my time actually making sure i am cleaning my body well i feel like everybody's number one problem is underarm odor so what you gotta do is you have to make sure that you're thoroughly cleaning yourself not even just on your armpits but your whole entire body so what i do i literally make sure that again my washcloth is lathered and i literally wash my armpits for a nice long time if you're only doing this if you're scrubbing your armpits for like five seconds yeah of course you're going to stink after because you're not removing the bacteria and the dirt that's on your armpits in the funk you're not you're not removing it but you really have to like thoroughly like get up in there typically for my armpits i wash my armpits like three or four times because as you know as i said i don't wear deodorant anymore so i wash my armpit one time i do this to the, i do this make sure that the water rinses it off and then i wash it again i do this make sure water rinse everything off and then i wash my armpit again like and i take again i take my time i make sure i wash my armpits thoroughly everything else is self-explanatory i wash my body i wash my neck wash my back wash my stomach make sure you get your belly button like 
clean your important parts you gotta do what you gotta do now that i got done cleansing my body sometimes i get saucy you know, and i wash my body more than once if i wash my body more than once i make sure that i go in with a, a moisturizing body wash because again i do have a little bit of dry skin so what i do is i go in with my aveeno skin relief body wash it helps soothe itchy and dry skin and then after that sometimes if i'm doing like a whole pamper shower routine or if i feel like my skin is feeling like a little rough i'll go in with a body scrub lately i've been obsessed with dove's body scrubs they do a really good job with exfoliating your skin without being too rough as of recently i had picked up this dove body scrub and it's called brown sugar and coconut butter and i used this the other day and literally my skin was smooth it was nice and moisturized at the same time when i got the shower my skin was nice and moisturized i do recommend that you use a body scrub if you're like having like a self-care day pamper day whatever or your skin is like feeling rough and it feels like it needs to be exfoliated i do recommend dove's body scrub I, they definitely get the job done now that i'm out the shower i make sure that i use a towel pat my skin i don't rub it i just pat my skin so what i do to put moisture back into my body sometimes i have two ways two ways of moisturizing my body one way is to use a body lotion and a body oil combined and then I put that on my body. Another way I moisturize my body, once I'm right out the shower, I do not dry my body. I leave the water on my body and I will take body oil and just apply it to my arms, legs, things of that nature. What body oil does is seals in moisture. So if your body is still wet and you put on body oil on top, that's doing nothing but sealing in the water, baby. When I have done that, my skin was not dry at all. I feel like my skin was, is very moisturized when I do that. But I'm gonna show you guys the products that I have been using. The body lotion that I use is by Vaseline. But I was being a little cheap this going around. I just went on Amazon and I just bought the Amazon Basics. Sometimes I also just go to Target and get their their knockoff version of vaseline too but they they all do the same thing this is the lotion that i use and then this is also the body oil that i use this is johnson's shea and cocoa butter oil um but these are the two products that i moisturize with sometimes i also when i'm feeling a little cheap <laughs> i do go to like target and i use their their knockoff version does the same thing um so don't be like ashamed to like use like no name brands like okay like at the end of the day they still doing the same thing you still smell fresh you're still moisturized what's the issue before i put clothes on now let's talk about my armpits so like i had mentioned earlier i no longer use deodorant because your girl has recently have became allergic to deodorant. I have no idea slash clue why. I don't know where, like my armpits were literally just irritated by deodorant. Like I was getting a rash, they were itchy, they were burning. I was like, what in the world? Like, is this eczema? Or I'm just simply like having a reaction to deodorant right now. So aluminum free deodorant is like, you know the thing now it's like kind of like the way you know and it's definitely like way healthier because aluminum causes some stuff i was using deodorant by secret i'm like nothing against the brand or anything i just think it just didn't agree with me but i was using their lavender aluminum free deodorant at one point it worked fine for me until like a, some months back like literally my armpit was literally in flamed and like even my lymph nodes like went to the area and like my i could feel like my lymph nodes in my armpit because my arms were like so mad but how i also figured out it was deodorant i was like okay maybe the aluminum free deodorant just has something in it that i don't agree with i'm gonna just go back to using regular deodorant i go back to regular deodorant my armpit does the same exact thing so i'm like huh interesting i must be allergic to deodorant and then not so long after my dad is over here having allergic uh allergic reaction from deodorant so i'm like at this point there's something in the deodorant i'm gonna have to like try to figure out my own thing but before i started like 
playing around like with concoctions of creating my own deodorant um the first thing that was on my mind was to get rid of this rash and to soothe the area what i did was i put aloe vera on my arm on my armpit and then i read online they said if you just put vaseline on top of your armpit it could like soothe it a little bit or help seal in any moisture because i don't know if my armpit was just like dry i don't know if that eczema or whatever the case may be i don't know where i came across vaseline but i put vaseline on my armpit after i had put aloe vera on tell me why your girl wasn't funky at all literally i didn't smell i didn't have any smell whatsoever and i was kind of like huh so you telling me all i needed to use was aloe vera and vaseline on my armpits interesting it did help heal the rash that i had like literally the rash went away um and my armpits were looking healthy what i did i created my own con concoction slash deodorant it's in this container because i don't have like the stick or anything what is in this deodorant is literally aloe vera gel and vaseline and i also put in my own essential oil in it to like give it like a fragrance the essential oil that i'm using is baby powder scent but what i also started doing is because i also heard that if you put like witch hazel on your armpit when you're fresh out the shower it helps to not have like odor as of recently i started doing that and still no odor last but not least to finish off my hygiene routine is scent you know you want to smell good all day you gotta use a good smelling perfume there's nothing wrong with body mist but i know that body mist does not last it really don't last much at all it depends on what type of scent you get some scents be lasting all day and some don't but for majority of the time every time i use a body mist scent disappears very quickly i don't know if you guys have seen a video that i had uploaded not too long ago i did a dossier perfume review and let me tell y'all dossier definitely is like dossier is that the scents last all day they give off luxury vibes but for the winter i've really been using floral lavender which is inspired by ysl libre if i'm not mistaken i feel like it gives off good vibes for like the winter i feel like it has like a warm a warm scent to it once like it's lasting and lingering on you i think that's why i'm definitely gravitating towards it a little bit more for this winter and yeah that is my winter hygiene routine like i try to make sure that my routine is nothing crazy there's no need for craziness i just try to make my routine as simple as possible if you guys like this video please make sure that you like comment and subscribe and that you hit that bell notification so you'll be notified for any time i post a new video i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one bye